first memory so coming to Sister's up. Place was, wow, what, what did we get ourselves into? What is going on? Um, I can tell you my first impression because the first person I met was Sister Louise. Uh, and I, I did, I do understand at that point in time what a nun was. So I wasn't too sure what we were actually getting into. I thought we were actually going to be like living with nuns and stuff like that. Turns out it was a whole different adventure, which I, to this day, I'm grateful for. It was, um, it was a really good experience. And I would like to say thanks to Sister's Place for helping me turn into the person that I am because Sister's Place put me there. Um, it's hard to say because I was on the kid end. Um, so I was always, I guess you would say, I was always watching the movie. And, you know, I wasn't behind the scenes with the adults. So for me, you know, I, I experienced the kid portion of it. I do remember going to a lot of ventures. Um, we would go out to sleepovers and cabins and stuff like that. Um, every time monster trucks would come in town, we were there. Ringling Brothers, we were there. You know, so they definitely um, made the standpoint for a kid to not feel like you're living a different life because you're really not. You know, they just actually, they, tr they try to make your experience for kid-wise as much as kid entertaining as possible. Coming from a kid standpoint, you know, um, you don't want to go to another kid and be like, yeah, you know, the only reason why I have food in my house is because it was given to us because, you know, we're in this organization. Because as a kid, you know you're going to get made fun of regardless of what it is, whether it's your hair, your clothes you wear, or the type of living you have, you're going to get made fun of. It's, it's, it's kid's nature. Every kid gets made fun of at a point in time. Um, so what ends up happening is when there's other kids in your situation experience the same thing you're experiencing, you end up getting a little bond with these kids. And some, in all honesty, that bond to this day hasn't been broken. Um, I, I still, I'm still in contact with a lot of the people that I, you know, I grew up with. Um, I still talk to them, whether it's through via Facebook, cell phone, text message, stuff like that. And um, it's, a, it's a good bond to have because it, I tell you what, Sister's Place made everything possible as far as um, remember getting out of school and having a place to go to after work or after school, Sister's Place, um, the school program, they would help, you, help us with our homework. If you didn't understand it, they would teach, you know, they would try to help their best to help you understand it. Um, on top of that, just in the younger generation, it kept the kids off the street. It gave them something to look forward to when they got out of school instead of just going out and running the streets and doing whatever the streets are offering. This lets you know you have a safe haven almost to come to. And it helps you keep focused on what you need to do in life as far as, oh, I'm just going to go outside and I'm done with school. I don't need to do nothing no more. No, life's not about that. There's still all kind of opportunities you can have. And Sister Place lets you know that those opportunities are there for you. You just got to take them. How are you doing now? Uh, I'm doing good. Um, I'm 28 years old. I just got married. Uh, I own my own business. I do landscaping. Um, me and my wife just bought a house. And we actually have a little boy on the way. Any day now, actually. And... Um, so I honestly, honest to God, can really thank Sister's Place because they gave me that push to recognize where I want to go in life and the goals that I want to achieve. And I can honestly say that I achieved my goals thanks to Sister's Place. Like I said, I, I couldn't ask to be in a better situation in life right now. And Sister's Place helped me get there.